My name is Adrian Pagdin from AJP Consulting. Welcome to our e-learning series on project management. Each module is designed as a refresher for one of the key topics, tools or techniques on project management, starting with completing a terms of reference through to completing project closure and lessons learned. Capsule number four, deliverables. The objective of the next five minutes is to provide you with a refresher on how to decompose objectives into deliverables, how to describe deliverables in a succinct way using the BOBSAC acronym, and how to gain commitment to action from the project contributors. There are two different types of deliverables, management and product. Typical management deliverables will be the terms of reference, the project plan, the communications plan, whereas product deliverables will be the component parts required to deliver the objectives. Deliverables are tangible, measurable and descriptive. So let's take a look at how we develop deliverables. What tangible assets or products does the project team need to produce in order to achieve this objective? Take a look at these deliverables. Does this make sense? If we produce all of these deliverables, will we have achieved the objective? Note that the deliverables are described as outputs, not activities. Content defined, not defined content. The documentation deliverable would incorporate management deliverables like reporting, terms of reference, baselines, etc. Let's now look at how to describe deliverables. You may recall the BOBSAC acronym. The purpose of using this approach is to describe the deliverable in such a way that it removes ambiguity, provides the person responsible for producing the deliverable flexibility in their approach while ensuring a predictable outcome. We've looked at how to decompose a deliverable from the project objective and how to describe one. Let's look at an example. A brief view of our deliverables and for an example we shall describe modules written. This is what a deliverable description looks like. Look at the amount of quality information that's contained here, illustrated with the red underlining. I can see that the modules must be written in PowerPoint, not exceed five minutes, they should be highly visual, written to the brand and design specifications by the end of the second week in August. An important fact to consider here is the input from the subject matter expert who will be responsible for producing it. The PM must describe the objectives, success criteria and constraints, but should encourage input on assumptions and, crucially, the way in which the deliverable will be completed. The objective of this module was to provide confidence and competence to decompose, describe and get support for project deliverables. Let's conclude with some best practice tips. The PM is responsible for the overall scope and should be robust in the description of objectives and success criteria. However, it's in the involvement of the stakeholders, and in particular, the end users and those responsible for delivering them, where we gain and maintain commitment. A useful tool here is to run a project definition workshop with the end users and the subject matter experts to develop and agree each of the deliverables. We hope that you've enjoyed this five minute refresher on project deliverables. Please browse our other online resources and if you'd like to know more about open or in-house workshops, please contact us.